Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. This week I want to show you how to make almond flour. And this is a great alternative to wheat flour, especially if you're in a gluten and wheat free diet. Also, next week I want to show you how to make a five minute bread using almond flour. So don't miss that. Now that you're in the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I next post a video. And so let's start cooking and I'll see you next week with another delicious recipe. Bye. So the first thing that we need to do is blanch the almonds and this is basically to remove the brown skin uh, they have uh, using boiled water. So we're going to put two cups of almonds and then we're going to soak them in boiling water for about 10 minutes. You don't really want to boil them or soak them more than 10 minutes because this is going to then the almond is going to start to absorb water and you just want to remove the skin. So once we've left them for 10 minutes, we drain them and then start to remove the skin. As you can see, they come out, the skin, the skin comes out very easily and you just have to, with your fingers, you just have to swiggle it and the skin will come out very easily. So do all of the almonds one by one until all of them um, have their skin out. So once all the almonds are done we have to let them to dry and to do this there are two ways you can put them on a sheet as I'm doing here and leave them overnight and then you're sure that all the almonds are dry or otherwise if you're in a bit of a, of a rush you can put them in the ovens at 100 degrees for about an hour more or less so once all the almonds are dried i left them overnight uh, we're going to start to um, process them using a food processor you really need a food processor because it needs to be um, really made into flour so once uh, we've got that uh, we're going to blitz until the pieces of almond have become really small pieces almost flower like i'm gonna leave it not too thin because i like a bit of bite when i'm doing things with flour with almond flour but you can leave it finer if that's what you like so like i'm showing here i'm leaving it fine but still with tiny tiny pieces um, of almonds so i'm gonna put them on a a glass container I think it keeps better uh, in a glass container but also you can put them in a, pl a plastic container or in a carton uh, container so once you've done the first bit then proceed to do the same with the remaining of the almonds so once you've repeated all this the same process with all the almonds then that's it that's done and that's your almond flour now that you can use to for dessert to make bread or any other substitute of wheat flour <laughs> 